Happy summer, everyone. Thank you so much for the likes, the comments, the shares, and of course, the subscribes because of you and only you. We've made it to 10 subscribes together. So thank you. That's validation to me that what you see here is something that you value. And it encourages me to continue making quality content just for you. We're doing things a little different now. Um, in this reading, you will see two weeks displayed. So if you're in a place to receive, here is your insight for the upcoming two weeks. Thank you, parents of Cancer, ch or I'm not, sorry, Virgo children. I knew this was Virgo reading. Why did cancer come out of my mouth? I don't know. Um, but Virgo children, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, you have a beautiful spread here. I'm like in awe because there is, I can sense uh, definitely a change in the wind per se. Um, it, there's growth in these cards, at least for the parents, where I can see you are starting to value yourself. Something changed and you're like, no, I'm done. I'm worth more. Um, and you are like relentless. It's all about you now as it should be. So this is your child. This is the cow. Uh, they are, uh, if you can read that, it speaks to fertility, purity, and divinity. And the thing that I get about this card is the focus. Look how focused that your Virgo child is. They're so at peace. Like, whatever they're dealing with, they are so at peace. Let's do it this way. And it's, it's beautiful to look at. Um, it's, it's, it's almost very serene, the feeling that I'm getting. Can I do these this way? Yeah, that's better. Try to keep everything together. Make it look pretty. But you see, there's a lot of like the color schemes you see like reoccurring color schemes of blue and yellow, blue and orange, and blue and orange especially are complementary colors. So it's like trust, inviting, invigorating. So there's a balance of color here and it's, it's good because it all makes sense. So this is your, um, the insights that I have, my interpretations uh, of things for the week of June 24th through the 30th. Um, all these cards are just talking about this week. So they have the Citrine card. I had it. I always have the page marked. This doesn't want to stay. But it speaks of um, wealth, abundance, creation, creativity, and healing. And it says that your financial concerns will be ready, will begin to dissolve soon as a steady stream of abundance starts to flow into many areas of your life. Um, I feel like whatever was limiting your child is now coming out. Like any self-imposed limitations that they had on themselves, they're coming into a place where they have understanding. So it's like some, something is shifting and changing in their thought process of how they view themselves. And they're just focused on a, a, a new level of growth. Like they are fixated. They're, there's a fixation, a focus, a determination to be better, to get better, to, to learn more. And they're using this as a motivator for them to become more self-aware, more self-reliant, more self-sufficient. But just to better the self. You help them by being inclusive you know, letting them know that they are a part of the tribe. Taking that baby giraffe and just welcoming. And it's funny because 8 and 24 are connected by 3. So there's three eights in 24. I know there was another reading where the, it was 2 and 44. And 2 times uh, 22 is 44. 
So include your child and, and take time to rest and regenerate with them. It will only help fuel this growth here. Take time. You're also asked to find your own tribe, connect with your own tribe of friends, and rest for yourself. Haha. <laughs> See? Take time for yourself and a nap. Enjoy relaxa relaxation activities that nurture your soul. That's what you need. And on top of that, um, you got some chakra, chakra clearing that you need. By clearing your chakras, you open yourself up to profound wisdom. So you're on the upswing of that where you're seeing what no longer serves you. You're taking a break, taking a rest so that you can heal. You are all about getting off your ass, the Goya. You're committed to moving forward and progression, which is great. Kudos to you. And whatever happened this week or in the past, you are realizing how valuable you are and enough is enough. And you're taking your strength back and not giving so much to other people who especially do not deserve it because they don't show that they value you. Okay. So that's the 24th through the 30th. Moving on to July 1st through the 6th. All of this is the same week. Your child has the bear. And they also have, I think, yes. Oh, I was going to say raven, but this is the kingfisher. Both of these animals are strong in their own right. And the bear speaks of healing, divinity, and invulnerability. So yes, a strength. And I will hold that so you can read it. And the kingfisher looks how, you know, focused and intent it is. It's on it, just like that cow. And it speaks of peace, abundance, and love. So it's holding on to, it's maintaining a sense of peace, a sense of abundance. And Virgos don't really hold on too much, depending on the child and depending on other placements in their chart. But, um... Virgos are changeable. They change their mind. But they are, they're, in this instance, they are maintaining this level of love and abundance. So their attitude this week for the first week in July is just to lovingly observe people. To be there, to be a help, to be strong where need be but there it's almost like an act of service for them this week they're holding space for people they are being kind to their siblings their cousins other children to you there's just an understanding in their world that there's more that's more important which is great they have the amber card which is what where my page was originally and it speaks it confirms all of this that's happening but it speaks to transparency and calm, purification and creativity. There's some purification going on with you. Purification, creativity with your child. You have no place like home and TikTok. So in the upright, TikTok speaks to timelessness, which further like fuels this time of peace and rest. And you also have no place like home. So you're... Probably for yourself, and it's a 50-30, which is interesting, these correlations. Um, you are at a time where you're getting comfortable in yourself. Let the week prior, you've, you know, worked on value. But it's like time, you, you get lost in time, loving on yourself and fill, filling your cup. And how you can help your child is by doing the same thing for them. Encouraging them to be at peace within themselves and encouraging that they are at peace, you know, and um, facilitating that behavior in them so that they can feel that way. And you have communicate with your angels in reverse. It says you have the ability to connect with the beings of love who surround you. Communicate with your angels and deliver their healing messages to others. So that's what you're being asked to do. And you are doing that. 
And you see the importance of communicating with your angels. I'm getting some level of resistance, but I don't understand where or why. So it's not that you have an issue communicating with your angels because you do. Maybe there's a reluctancy to tell the full truth. Maybe there's a reluctancy to be uh, transparent in something for yourself. Hmm. You may be praying more. Maybe having some, some internal time by yourself. Maybe the solution is, in, not internalizing, but having some, like, spending some alone time. So your angels are there, but it's like you're kind of standoffish or closed off. And that's fine because it's for you. You have the I am loyal card in reverse. It may be a time where you are, you need to be loyal to yourself. It's like maybe you've exited something. Maybe there's a person in your life where you are um, not being loyal to them anymore, probably because they betrayed you. But you were focusing inward on being loyal to yourself. So I see a lot of spending time as a parent. I see a lot of alone time, a lot of thinking. I see that your child already has their mindset, they're focused, and they're, they're healing. They're being very kind over the next couple of weeks. So you guys are individually working on your own stuff separately, but together it's in the same vein and it serves a higher purpose and a more complete purpose. And it serves the, the growth and the well-being of your home. So I'm proud of you both. I hope you have a great couple of weeks. Enjoy your 4th of July. And we'll see you um, on July 7th.